Okay, y'all, so I'm back, girl. So you can kind of see it's starting to peel. It's not peeling in every spot. I'm not too sure if all of it's ready to come off. It normally comes off in one, like one peel, but I think today it's gonna come off in several peels because I probably could keep it on a bit longer. But you guys see, I love this mask. Like it just, like when you put it on, it just feels like it's working. Just look at that. Just peeling all of that icky, icky skin. Like I said, if I would have kept it on longer, a lot of times I can peel this off in one peel or two. But because I know that I could have kept it on probably like five minutes longer, it would have. But I just want to show you how it peels off. Girl, talking about ultimate self-care, baby. And then this is what it looks like. So it kind of feels like, um, like a, I don't know, like a jelly type of material. And then I just keep, like I said, the longer you keep it on, like I've had it on for probably like 20 to 25 minutes. But if I would have kept it on for like 30 minutes, y'all, it would have all peeled off together. But like I said, I'm taking it off early. You see how this is not um, as, it's not as, it hadn't hardened like the rest of my face. Probably because it could have sat on for a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna, so I can rub it off, peel it off. Do y'all see this? Girl, my face feels so freaking good, bro. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It feels so amazing. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I just kind of peel off the sides by my edges. But like I said, y'all, if y'all invest in this mask, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this for like a, a couple years now. And I've used it quite a amount of times. It's just a little bit goes a long way and it's a really good mask. So, you know, my sister always know what's a gig girl. Okay, I think we're good. Just look at that, sis. Do y'all see that? There's still some left on my edges. Like I said, keep it on as long as you can keep it on. That way you could just, do y'all see how refreshing my face looks? Girl, just look. Girl, it's, oh, it feels so good. Like, I feel like I just went to a spa. Well, you know, it is a spa, the way that I do it here, so. So. To end this out, <clears throat> I take out some, I'm using some jasmine oil. That's what I'm gonna use to seal in the moisture on my face. And I'm just gonna put a few drops, put a few drops here. It's cold, so it feels really good. And then I'm just gonna rub it into my face. I put oil on my eyebrows too, y'all. That's how they be growing. Put it all over my face. Right. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Put it all over the eyebrows, sis. And even up to the edges. Okay, then I'm gonna take my jade roller, which oh, is cold, so it feels so good to my face. Having my um, facial steamer and then my beauty fridge like these things really give you the spa-like experience because the steamer just puts you in a wusa mood and then the beauty fridge just cools all your products and just makes your face feel so rejuvenated and fresh sometimes i'll put like avocado mask cucumber mask any of those in there let them get cold and by the time you use them oral oral thank me later just thank me later so um this is also part of the jade roller Sometimes I'll take it and I'll just put it like under my eyes. I'll take it, I'll put it like in just different points. I have really bad sinuses, um, like sinus infections and stuff like that. So I always take my jade rollers and try to get them near my pressure points. So like where, where my nose is or like right here. You know, like here I even take it and I do it here. 
by my lymph nodes and I just get the pressure points where I know you know just even doing this it's like you know your sinuses you know kind of clearing out your sinuses but it also like I said the jade rollers they seal in my moisture but I I get the pressure points right here sometimes I'll you know just right here on the eye girl yes girl yes Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Or let me roll that oil into my eyebrows, cause the baby, my nail, uh, my brow girl always like, oh they growing back so thick. I said, girl, it's the routine. It's the routine, sis. It's the routine. Because I was sipping on my wine, I didn't take my probiotics. I normally take my probiotics, multivitamins, and hair, skin, and nail vitamins, and it, all that stuff in the morning. But I didn't do it today because I kind of got caught up and I'm drinking wine right now so I don't want to take those and then have like an upset stomach or anything like that so I'm not going to do it. But I will be taking my multivitamins, my um, probiotic, hair, skin and nail, all that before I go to bed with a glass of water. I always feel like, like taking my supplements and stuff like that I need to wash them down with water. I just feel like it allows them especially products with biotin in them or anything like that i just want everything to so i'm still sitting in my towel right now because my hair was still dripping a little bit but not now and i normally don't put like a shirt on right when i get out of the shower because it's like my hair is a lot of times still dripping so y'all know i wait about 30 minutes before i actually put on a shirt but since i was doing my self-care i said i'm gonna just stay in my towel I'm going to turn around real quick because I want you guys to see my hair since it's still kind of wet a little bit. I want you guys to see my hair. Um, like the length. It's like my hair keeps hitting growth spurts and I'm so excited, like, I am so excited y'all. Just look. Healthy hair. Healthy woman. Do y'all see this? Girl. Girl. Next summer. Well, this upcoming summer now that we're out of summer, nobody gonna be able to tell me anything because my hair gonna be so much longer. Like by the time summertime next year comes, I'll be three years old. My hair will be three years old. In July, it'll be three. Girl. Girl, I'm gonna have some hang time. Chai, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. You talking to me? <laughs> me, me. You know, people be like, the girl over there with the long hair. Who, you talking to me? <laughs> girl, these inches. These real inches is about to be sh <laughs> cool. Who you going on a date with? No, nobody, just me and my hair. Period. Period, sis. Period, poo. Period, period. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed my self-care routine and all the other videos that I put up today. Um, I did a lot today. A lot of content like and then the thing about it is when you're filming you're editing you're doing all these things it might take you a while to get all of these little snippets in only for the video to be so short and you're just like so I've done a lot but I'll see y'all in the next video make sure you like comment share subscribe later what's up babes this is Carlisa Victoria I am back with yet another video I just washed my hair, I did my face wash routine. I did a couple videos for y'all tonight. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you go check out all my videos from vlogging to um, what's in my beauty fridge to wash day for my locks to self care routine to all of that, okay? This video is about um, tips that I'm gonna be giving you guys, just some lock tips that I can give you guys about the semi free form. Some things you can be doing to actually grow your hair by using a semi free form method so if you're new here hi welcome to the channel if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back make sure you all smash the subscribe button and then follow me on instagram at Lisa victoria spell the exact same way as my youtube name um so i you guys know when i wash my hair i always try to give updates on this um semi free form journey 
I like to send my free form. I did it in my first journey. Um, but one of the things that I would definitely say, and there's no specific um, order, these are just tips that I would give you guys as you are semi free for me. One thing that I would say is develop your wash routine. It doesn't have to be every five days, it doesn't have to be every six, seven, eight days. It could be maybe once every two weeks, once every month, once every whatever. Whatever your routine is gonna be, do what is gonna work for your hair. Because if you're somebody who's semi-freeforming but you don't want a freeform look like myself, like I only wanna embrace not retwisting my hair and just allowing my hair to just freely grow and just thicken. I have to still separate my hair every time I'm washing my hair. You know what I mean? I still have to thoroughly go through and wash my hair. So for me, I make sure that, you know, I'm washing my hair maybe every week, week and a half. Really, like, not every week. It's closer to two weeks, but at least about, lately it's been twice in a month at least because I'm semi-preforming, so I don't want my hair to just be thickening and growing together. So I do it at least twice, depending on what my hair was like. So if I didn't have any product really in my hair that week, then there's really no need to, but um, at least twice right now, just to keep it. Another thing I would say is rinse your hair, spritz your hair as often as you can. If you're in a state that's not cold yet, rinse your hair as often as you can. You don't always have to put shampoo in there. You could just wet it, be in the shower and just run your hair through the water. Or you can, you know, get your filtered water and run your hair through the water. Wet it as often as you can because I feel like you're able to, it's like a plant, you water it, it'll grow. But I also feel like your hair will be able to be moisturized from the water like you will notice that your locks will feel a lot softer they'll feel you know they won't feel brittle they won't so that's what i do my hair is so soft um rinse your hair often another thing i would also say while you're semi-free forming is like i said whether you have acrylics or you don't or you have sns like me which is my real nails excuse me if your nails chip you need to file them down you need to go get them done you need to do something because snagging your hair is not helping if you're using semi free form as a form of letting your hair grow thicken and do what it's supposed to do the last thing you need is for your hair to be snagging in your fingernails and all of that work that you're putting in is going right here in your fingernails so that's another thing I would definitely say. Um, I said some of these tips before, but I'm just letting you guys know. Like I said, as I get closer to the 90 days, I'm just telling you guys what things that I do. Um, another thing that I would say is take the time to really moisturize your hair during this time. You're not retwisting it. You're not putting any um, lock products in your hair, like retwist products. So take the time. Like I have this avocado hair milk by... Um, Hold on, my L Organics. Let me see. I think it's under here. Give me a second. I've had this product since I was a loose natural, but I still use it. In fact, I'm gonna use some talking to y'all right now. Um, so this right here is a avocado hair milk, and I've had this since I was a loose natural. I don't put this on my whole head, but because my edges are probably the most touched part of my hair, you know, because like if I'm going somewhere, I might slick my edges up, or if I'm just keeping it casual, I might slick them. So I just like to keep, make sure that my edges are most definitely moisturized. So I'm just gonna put some of this hair milk around my whole parameter of my head, my nape. You don't necessarily have to do this, but this is what I like to do. And it smells so good. It's so lathering and it just moisturizes my hair. And I just put some right here on the front cause I have all that new growth. So I'm still trying to make sure that even though it's newly growing in, I'm still trying to um, moisturize it. And then um, there's days where I'm making sure that I put my oils, you know what I mean? So just take the time to spend more time doing the things that you don't often do. Let me flip my hair so I can put this on underneath. I just go ahead and moisturize my whole parameter because I feel like the, that gets the most tension from when you're doing ponytails, low or high, buns, anything. The parameter of your head gets the most um, tension. 
tension so I just put some of that on my hair but you know you might want to put your oil in your hair whatever you want to do take this time to actually nurture your hair moisturize it rinse it do everything that you need to do um, another thing that I would say is feed your body with great things I'm vegan so it's easy for me to go ahead and eat healthy but water healthy foods that's like the key to the growth what you're putting in your body if you're putting junk if you're drinking soda all the time it's going to be easy for your your pores to be clogged on your face on your hair and then it's when something's clogged it promotes growth i mean it yeah it it no it prohibits growth is what i'm trying to say when something is clogged it doesn't allow for something to grow the way that it needs to grow so in order for something to grow you have to have your clog your pores unclogged if they're clogged up it's going to make it hard it's going to make it hard simple think about when you have like a shower drain and you have so much hair in your shower drain that it gets like the water is not flowing out in the tub keeps filling up because you need to clear your drains look at your hair the same way if you're not drinking water you're not eating good food your your clog your pores are going to be clogged much like a drain and it's going to be hard to get results when something's clogged so feed your body with good things drink water take your vitamins um i don't believe that there's one thing that works in a routine i think everything has to collectively go together and that's what makes it a routine if you want to get fit you don't only go to the gym to get fit you have to eat right you have to take care of your body you have to sleep if you want to grow long hair it's not about oh i just washed my hair you have to eat right you have to drink right you have to maintain in every routine, there are multiple components that make up the actual routine, which means each of those functions are needed for the growth of your hair in the body. You can't just operate off of one thing in your body. There's multiple different parts of the body that makes the body do what it do. It's the same thing in everything, every routine, every function, there's multiple different parts and jobs. So. Don't think just because you take hair, skin, and nail vitamins that your hair is going to be down your back. It's all in what you're doing. And if that does get your hair down your back, then you should know that you probably could have experienced um, much faster growth and stuff like that if you were doing all the other things. So there's always a solution. Another thing that I would say while semi-free-forming is just enjoy that journey. Because it is its own journey, you know? Your roots thicken up. But I, the way I look at it is, if you can rock semi-free form, then that most definitely means that you can rock your hair, rock your hair, um, retwist it. I just feel like it gives you the chance to see yourself in different elements of your beauty. So, I don't have much to say. I just wanted to get on here and give you guys an update. Day 72. Day 72 of 90. I could go longer than that. Don't know yet, but girl the results have been phenomenal oh, just, oh, girl who do i think i am do y'all see this i understood the assignment i'll see y'all in the next video like comment share subscribe later it's only 11 something but why does it feel like it's too